what is behind there? And I went, and it was, really, you want me to tell this story? Yeah, let's do it, Mom. Okay. Um, oh, oh, honey. honey. Welcome to Oh Honey Podcast, where you get the sticky and the sweet with Summer and Amanda and, and Shannon. Today I was say we Summer's have Shannon's mom. Shannon, <laughs> mom is with us today. Mom is an amazing mother. She has four kids, and she is a very inspirational person on Instagram. She um, is fit AF. And she, <laughs> for me, it's like, she tells, like, women, it's like, you you can tell. You can tell them. What's your message, Mom? Um, I just think that you can be fit at any age. And um, age is really just a number. And it's just how you take care of yourself. And How old are you, Mom? 54 this year. Mind <laughs> blown. I know. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. yeah. And she just, oh, she just has such a youthful energy, yeah. doesn't she? Yeah. She's like my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Even the giggles. <laughs> I know, she's so cute. Yeah, I'm so excited to have you on today, Mom. Better not say anything embarrassing about me. But <laughs> oh, just wait. <laughs> I know, it's going to get real into it. So yeah. you have two sisters and a brother, mm -hmm. right? She had twins. Mom was yeah. like, we have Mom's pictures of her pregnant. She's like, how big around were you? 59 inches. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Yes. She's as huge. Yeah. yeah, I was in the hospital for two months. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, because yeah. you were twins. Twins, yeah. yeah. Big, were they both, like, full-size babies? Yeah. Well, they were a month early, but, um, yeah, by the then they sent me home, and they said, okay, you can have them. Yeah. And then they wouldn't come. They were like, yeah, no, we're going to be in here longer, so... Oh, no. They were. She put, they put you pretty that. big. Yeah, they still yeah. do. Yeah, they're like. <laughs> They've six, been doing that. Oh, like six. I don't know, six ten. I mean, they're big babies. Would you recommend people having twins after that? Would you be like, yeah? Well, yeah, because they're so amazing. Yeah, I mean, they're worth it. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard yeah. that. I re I don't know if this is true, but I saw on the internet there was um, there's a hormone that is released after you have babies, and it like makes you forget the like the pain because yeah. then if you remember the pain sense. you won't want to keep having babies so you'll just be like no yeah. never again i'm so yeah. but it like makes you forget it because it is so horrible I wonder, the pain i wonder if it's like because if you run a marathon and then after it's like uh, like during it you're like oh god i'm gonna die and then at the end you just feel so accomplished and then later on you forget and you're like yeah i'll do another one yeah because you're it, elated and i mean you just yeah. you just feel good and it's just yeah you don't remember the bad things i feel like that's a memory too. do you ever look back at a time and be like Wow, this is so amazing. But in the time, it wasn't that amazing because yeah. you don't remember the bad yeah. things. That's yeah. like in relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Do you That's ever like, like miss someone thing. and then you're like, and you break up because it's like it was a toxic relationship or bad and then you, oh, I miss them. And mm -hmm. you don't remember the bad and then you take them back or something. And you're like, you just gotta oh, write it all down. This is why <laughs> yeah. I can't be with you. Yeah. But you like forget it. Yeah. yeah. That's well, it's easy. kind of like a blessing for us, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine just all you remember is the trauma all the time. <laughs> like, that'd be horrible. It is so... Yeah, we, there'd be no kids if you yeah. remembered the pain. Like, there'd be no, no one, there'd be one, no one and done. would be like, yeah, no, I don't think so. Anymore, <laughs> yeah, I but. was um, my mom's... If my mom always says that if I was the first one she had... Oh, my God. She yes. would never have kids again. Really? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, when Summer was born... Oh, she was a nightmare? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Savannah, my first mm -hmm. was, you know, Savannah. Mm -hmm. She was amazing. <laughs> Never cried. I mean, I would take her to five star restaurants. I take her into movie theaters. I'd take her everywhere. And then Summer came, and I was I thought I was the best mom ever because you know Savannah didn't have a binky. Yeah. She didn't suck her thumb. I mean, she was perfect. Like she was actually a perfect baby. And um, she's like, I got this. I, yeah, I was like, yeah, I, I've got this. I, I've got this. And then summer came along and changed my world. And so the nurses all over kept coming in. I'm so sorry. I've never heard a baby cry that loud. Really? <laughs> yeah, like she cried crazy. And I was like, I'm not giving her a binky. She's yeah. not going to, you know, because I nursed her and I just thought, you know, I'm mm -hmm. enough yeah. for you. And, and you're <laughs> like, here. Yeah, and I wasn't. And, and then I about wasn't. I wasn't. So around three weeks after she was born, I mean, I was 
just ragged. I mean, I wasn't sleeping. She was crying all the time. I had, didn't know what to do because I hadn't experienced it before. And then somebody said, why don't you just give her a binky? Like, just try it. And before this, mm -hmm. mom's like, moms who give the yeah. babies oh, binkies, bad. they're horrible, yeah. don't need binkies. She's like with her, my sister <laughs> Savannah, like, you don't need binkies. <laughs> change, right? I know. I think yeah. I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Yeah, and then I got schooled big time. And um, the, they were like, give her a binky. Yeah, and, and like, then so I was like, hey. Okay. And so I, <laughs> I put okay. the binky in and silence, like literally silence. And like I was just like, like, yeah. Aww. And then she was the binky queen because yeah. when I was in the hospital. Everything I do, I have to do extreme. Extreme. And when I was in the hospital, um, she came to visit me one time and she had binkies. She had five over here and five over here. Just Ten. It was like a cold just beer. Ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Those no, a cold things. beer. She little, wanted you know when they attach to your shirts. Yeah, that's what like, they, yeah. I didn't like yeah. it when they. Get, I didn't like it when they got Warm. hot. Yeah, you yeah. wanted a cold one, so it was like <laughs> a, cold a cold beer. beer. <laughs> yeah. And so she walks out. I'm like, oh my god, this is so. Much. I feel like it was. Just, <laughs> yeah, it Such was crazy. Extreme. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm extreme in everything I do. Everything. And I was trying to tell them the other day. That I didn't um, like s like start talking till I was like four, yeah. wasn't it? No, she didn't say. I mean, yeah, she was very quiet. Now you can't. Yeah, I mean, no, you can't. It's, it's yeah, she talks all the we time. We have like home yeah. videos, yeah. And, and like so I the, would watch them. There's and I'm twin language. Silent. Yeah, and so and Savannah was the oldest, and so she could understand them. And they had this language. It was like really triplet language because mm -hmm. all of the little ones they all spoke to each other, mm -hmm. and no one knew what they were speaking. Like we were like, "What are you like saying?" Yes. And then Savannah would be like, "Mom, she wants a bottle," or "Mom, she wants this," or you know, yeah. whoever. And they <laughs> like knew they're exactly. Yeah, yeah. I would talk. To I was talking. Yeah. You guys just didn't know what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. But she didn't like start talking until she was like four. Yeah, my mom would be That's like, "That's crazy, What's wrong though." With I her? would think she'd be like screaming all the way through it. Yeah, no, um, my mom would look it up and be like, what's wrong with her? Because you're like, like, what's wrong, you know? And then you, like, looked it up and it says something about, that's, like, sometimes a problem. A genius, yeah. I mean, people that are very, very intelligent will not talk. And then like, mm. yeah. <laughs> oh, Summer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, listening. she's very intelligent. Yeah, yeah I mean, you're very true. intelligent. And Okay, I'm not book smart. I'm street smart, okay? Yeah, you're <laughs> You that's my saying. <laughs> Is that you? Well, also? you don't. I I think people. I mean, everyone's have just. We're all intelligent, but unless you're really interested in something, mm -hmm. you don't really care. You know, people. I mean, at school, you have to go to school and you have to learn everything, but when you're really interested in something, you will rip it apart. I mean, you will really dive oh, you'll in dive and into it for learn. Sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, a lot. So. Because Summers was explaining in like every episode how she, how she was uh, homeschooled. And then she was like, her schooling was mainly like hanging out with animals. <laughs> well, it, okay, well, in, in homeschooling, I mean, we could get pretty much all of our book stuff done within yeah. two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. we did have books yeah, that and, we did. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so we, you know, dove school, into that in the in morning. Public school, they have a million breaks, and they have yeah. lunch, and they have yeah. recess. She explained how she would manipulate you, and <laughs> <laughs> well, it was manipulate. It's like, oh, I'm going to go riding. Kind of a pushover. I love yeah. her, but, and I love that about her. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> mom it, wants us to go out, and we learned so much. Growing, we fed the horses, we cleaned the. Poop. We literally, I was lifting hay bales by the time, huge bags of grain by the time I was like five years old. So it's like we yeah. did learn a lot. We we're working, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And my yeah, thing, we, they had a, I mean, not a hard life, but I mean, yeah, they worked. Like we had mm -hmm. goats and chickens and every single animal you can probably think of. Not yeah. like we didn't have cows yeah. and we didn't have um, like pigs and stuff. No. So it wasn't like a farm, to, yeah. it was like a ranch. Yeah. So yeah. you wouldn't eat the. No, never. Oh my God, oh God no. no. Horses. I can't even no. kill a bug. The, the biggest thing we had was, you know, horses. And so I think the most we had on the ranch was 32. And so it was 32 just, horses? So it was just me and the. But that is a lot girl. of work. Yeah, it was a lot of work. Just you and the. Well, and for the three years, it was just me and Summer. But. Um, really? Yeah, when with they got 32 divorced. horses? Well, well, my I parents think got divorced. Me and mom lived at the ranch by ourselves. So it, it's like such a struggle. I like I have literally nightmares thinking about when, in the winter when all the water would fe freeze and mm -hmm. like the horses need water. We'd have to take huge buckets of hot water from the house and walk uh, them to unfreeze the waters. Yeah, yeah. and pour the buckets. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was so, oh my gosh. Oh my and it gosh. could take 
You could take a million trips. Yeah. You could, and then we're trying to feed because we had a lot of acres and stuff yeah. and horses and different pastures, and we'd have to bring food to them. And the, how much like snow did we get? Like, well, the one weird. year we got mm. like five feet of snow. Oh wow! And trying to take, and then the horses got um, barricaded in the shelters and yeah. That a was lot a, of work. That was a, yeah. It's like, did you run a business off of, like, the horses? And Mom the, was a horse yeah. trainer. And oh, we did a boarding okay. facility, so. Awesome. Okay. So you just didn't have 32 horses just no, out 32. We had 15 <laughs> were our yeah. personal horses, Got the it. families, and then. You took care of the other ones. Yeah. Oh. I had three, my own. I had three. Yeah? At a time, yeah. What what type of horses were they like? Um, so the my best. first horse ever, <laughs> it was named Cash. And it, my mom actually took my brother to go horse shopping. Skyland. When, no, it was Bronson. Was you were trying Skyland? to find a horse for Bronson. And I already had a horse. Like, I already had a horse. They're like, oh, no, actually, I didn't have a horse yet. I actually, I didn't have a horse no, yet. All I'm you sorry guys to believe your story. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I wanted Shakira. Shakara. Shakara, right. So we had this horse that I wanted, but she was kind of young and not trained really great. So it's like, I wanted her. So I was like, that's my horse. But we went to this horse ranch. And we were like looking at all the horses and I saw this horse and we were looking at it for my brother. Mm -hmm. I just climbed on him and I fell asleep. I literally had like... It, it was in the round pen and then yeah. we were looking at other horses and we, you know... She we fell asleep. Where's Summer? Horse? We don't know. And she was looking at this horse, but we didn't think anything about it. I was literally drawn to him. I was and like, you're the most beautiful horse I've ever seen. You're a child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mom would always be like, my horse is like a pair of underwear I do not share. <laughs> no, I think it'd be like asking... You know, mm -hmm. to ride, you know, can I ride your horse? Oh, no. I was like, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, asking it's, if you're going to ride your underwear. It's a relationship. Or, yeah, it's, it's a, like cheating it's, on me. That's yeah. literally like my, my yeah. mom, like, like our horses, like, we're our boyfriends, like, not like a gross, beastly out of any way, but it was like literally like, <laughs> <laughs> it made it. <laughs> I don't know. I've said some things in the past that maybe people are like, okay, what's wrong with Question Summer? They, but, they have been questionable, yeah. But <laughs> they just come out wrong. But our horses, like, I think we did not care about boys for so long. And, like, a lot of girls who have a relationship with horses, they don't, like, care about yeah. boys and stuff. Yeah. Because it's, like... You're caretaking also at the same time, too. And you're like, building a relationship with, like, a massive animal that's, like, so smart, so intelligent, so yeah, strong. Yeah. Like, and they would follow us everywhere. Yeah, and they're like dogs. And, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Cash, was my, the smell Cash was my smell. first horse. I fell asleep on him. And then I was like, Mama, I need... And they're like, Summer, we weren't getting you a horse. I was like, Mom, please. So then they got me. They live a long time, too. Right? He was they, he was probably like, they said that he was like 30 when we got him uh, or something. He was like 40 when he died, 42. He was I old. took really good care yeah. of my horses. He's, like, That's crazy. Horses Dusty, can out, remember how outlive <laughs> their no, owners yeah. and stuff, too. So yeah. Dusty, this is going to be kind of a gross story, but my other horse, so that's oh Cash and Dusty. <laughs> Oh, um, no. Something I like these horses are like my <laughs> life, right? Yeah. And like something happened. I don't know. Cash was a mean. Cash was really mean. He didn't like anyone else. He always had to be by himself. Mm -hmm. So and he was a Palooza. So Palooza, like he has Appaloosa. Appaloosa, Appaloosa, Appaloosa. They have um, spots all over him. He's so beautiful. Oh, but, cool. Um, so Dusty was it like? So they could get along. So I put them together in the pasture. I don't know why, but I think Cash kicked his dick, and his dick would just <laughs> hang down. And it would not go back up. His so own? I hit, no, no, Cash hit, 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 kicked Dusty's dick. Oh. So, so okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is not making sense. They'll, Guys, it's really they'll early. Drop, they'll drop their thing. Yeah. You know, their thing. Yeah. And then, oh, and, then and then they pull it back up yeah. when, you know, they're, when you're riding yeah, or whatever. And, and then when they want to go to the bathroom, they drop it or yeah. stallions, you know, whatever. Yeah. But um, so he got kicked there. And then so that muscle, it's he sick. couldn't retract it. And so we had to put it in a sling. I had to go and out there so she'd have to two go times a two day, times a clean it because it also like had like from being out because it needs it like yeah. gets dry and stuff. So I'd have to yeah. go and put ointment on it and wrap it up and put it back up. Literally, I've literally done so much with these horses. And yeah. then and then like if I wouldn't have done that, he probably would have died sooner because oh, he was yeah, already he old. But yeah, they have. I always had to like because they get to an age where it's like they just it get really, really skinny. Rough. But yeah, my. Uh, but the things you do for your animals too, it's like as they get older too, it's like, all right, so you sad. do things yeah. that because horses expressing anal glands. Like, yeah. there's so many things. It was like sad for horses because yeah. when they, they're such huge animals, when they lay down or something and they're old and they can't get back up. Like my dad, I went to school one day and he had to shoot Cash in the head. 
Oh, they really do do that? Yeah, because there's nothing. Well, it, it, so, I that mean, there's a ways, weird. there's like ways to do it where it's but not like, like already humane, yeah, yeah. but, but yeah, he was calm. already. The vet couldn't come and but like, if, well, if the already... vet puts them down, you, you're not allowed to, um, or you're not supposed to put them in the ground. Oh. Why? Because, because of the, the chemicals, chemicals, the chemicals. Oh. In See, the, Amanda can appreciate and, this. Yeah, yeah, and we were on, you know, a well, and yeah. so, but the, it goes into the water table. Yeah. And so all of that, I mean, that's like death. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's a big animal. And so we pretty much, you know, wanted to bury them yeah. there. And so. I buried all my animals so there, rats. So, yeah, and it was hard. It was hard. Like, it was <laughs> the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Uh, I mean, it's. No, it's the, so, it was like yeah. literally and, hardest I mean, thing yeah. ever, but. Uh, I mean, he, they be, either suffer or... I couldn't imagine, like, just seeing, like, the horses, uh, like, not to make this, like... <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, I'm just Her bring up... Yeah. <laughs> you don't make us cry. Make you feel it's horrible. Yeah. It was really... It was, yeah. like, it was, like, past, like, it was, like, I was... It was, like, a long time ago, so I, it's, like, not, like, a new wound, so I can talk about it, but... Yeah. Now would, like, because at that point they would cremate the horse... Or so you no, no, him. they, they, t no, it's really sad what they, I yeah. mean, they just, yeah, you don't want to hear about it. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, they, like when you, you know, get rid of them or whatever yeah. and they put them down and mm. then they come in this, this, we use, and when you would live on a ranch, you mm. know when someone's lost a horse because mm. this truck comes and it's like a silver, you know, truck oh. and then they like have the a Grim thing Reaper. and they put the, yeah, it is, yeah. it's like the Grim Reaper and they yeah. put a, a chain around their feet. And then they just crank them into this truck, and then they just take them and and like what? horses to me are like you know God's gift to mankind. I mean they just yeah. are. They crank like, them into a truck. Yeah, and then they just put them in a. They just put them in a. Yeah, like one, a dump. one thing I was oh, really oh, after sad. they're euthanized. After they're oh euthanized. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. after what? Yeah, yeah, after they pump yeah. Their so one thing yeah, I want to one yeah. thing it, I want to get sad. into is like with my following and stuff is like something for horses because it's like. The slaughter and like everything that horses go through, it's so sad. If you understand mm -hmm. horses and they're, they're so, so mystical, I mean, yeah. they're just so, so amazing. They know, they know your soul. Yeah. And it's like I, when I was working a lot with horses and go and you know I'd go with people to pick out a horse or to look for horses, and the horse also picks you. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. To me personally, God just puts you with the right horse. And mm -hmm. so, if you have anxiety, or if you have depression, or you know anything that you're going through, mm -hmm. that horse together, you guys work through your own problem. That's really yeah. neat. Yeah. yeah. When you know so horses, nice. and when you're doing it natural, and mm -hmm. you're um, really building a partnership with your the horse. The right way. <laughs> yeah. They they work and they test you. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think my my sister like has some like problems and anytime she's with my her horse it's like she's, she's the happiest she's yeah. ever been and she's like complete and she never would have an outbreak or anything when she's with her horse mm -hmm. yeah, it's crazy she's, yeah she's horses like are person. just very therapeutic yeah so yeah we like to bury the horses on the ranch I buried, <laughs> I, buried, I, buried, I buried all my animals I mom remember right. we were talking about this yesterday she right. reminded me that every single animal of mine that died rats hamsters anything goldfish I would have <laughs> serum I would have ceremony? all my family oh, yeah. come I would yeah. literally make them all come and we we'd go be in a circle <laughs> yeah, right. no because I wouldn't even want people please don't no, dress in black in to a, my in funeral a, Everyone's yeah. dressed in color. Yeah. We're having life. We put so. them in little boxes. And, yeah. we, and I have a little yeah. note for them, and uh -huh. I put them down, and I bury them, and Aww. I make my whole family come. But I also made my whole family always come for my dog's birthday party. So Yeah. Oh, I had birthday yes. parties for my dog and for my stuffed animals. I had it for my baby dog. For all my, <laughs> yeah. But my family <laughs> had to come. Like, I'm a very controlling person, so I was like, you guys aren't coming? Like, I'm going to... Um, my mom would be like, and my dad would be like, you to my to siblings, please come, guys, come on, just for five set minutes, please just come. This is necessary. I can tell event. you guys a really funny story about summer. Oh, yeah. I know you guys want to hear this. Okay, so on the ranch, and I used to have bottled water all the time, and go to Costco and buy the cases of bottled water, and I knew that we weren't drinking as much as I thought. I mean, it was always gone. I'm like, mm -hmm. where is the water? Well, summer loved baby dolls and she had probably what 20 25 babies i mean 25 you probably had like 100 of them. okay she had a lot of babies i mean she had so many it's babies and aggressive. they were like the lifelike ones and yeah i mean she had them <laughs> i'm an like, extremist yeah and she had them all and her room was pretty big yeah and she had them all in their you know places and 
I know, and this had gone on for a long She's time. Like, this is my friend. This is my she friend. She would give them all a <laughs> bottle of water, and I don't know how many times a day, but she would, you know, throw that one away or dump it out or like they were drinking it. And I was just like, are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> and now me? I'm the opposite. I like do not waste water ever. So yeah, yeah that's changed. probably why, because you wasted all that well, in water. In your mind, yeah. you were helping the dolls. So you were like, I gotta. No, they, in my they mind, they needed water. water. Like, yeah. I had this weird thing that I thought that if I locked them up without their water, they're gonna die. Yeah, you gotta take yeah. care of your like babies. They were actually they hydrated. Real. Like, they were real. My thirty-two oh, horses, they were real. my babies, and you. I would You're beat like my siblings up if they said that they were dolls. If anyone called them a doll, I would beat them up. If my like, yeah, I had all real baby everything for all my baby dolls. That's what yeah. I did if uh, anybody said my dog was old and going to yeah. die soon. I would be like, yeah. no. <laughs> beat him up. Yeah. Oh, honey, it's time for our sweet sponsor, Talkspace. Life can be so stressful between work, family, and everything in between. It's not always easy to find time for yourself. But with Talkspace, taking care of your mental health is more affordable and convenient than ever before. We all need someone to talk to. A person who can support us through the rough patches or even the everyday ups and downs of life. <laughs> That's where Talkspace comes in. My schedule is so hectic and I travel a lot. So finding the time to slow down and distress can be almost impossible. But Talkspace has made it so easy. I love that it's mobile and I can reach out when I'm on the go just with a text. It's so amazing. Talkspace Online Therapy makes taking care of your mental health more affordable and convenient than ever before. You simply provide your preferences for therapy and a Talkspace will match with one of 5,000 plus therapists the very same day. Talkspace has more than 5,000 licensed therapists who are experienced in addressing the challenges we all face. No matter what you're going through, you're not alone. And Talkspace lets us feel that and know that. To match with your own perfect therapist for a fraction of the price of a traditional therapy, go to Talkspace.com. Make sure to use code HONEY to get $65 off your first month. That's HONEY, H-O-N-E-Y, and Talkspace.com. Oh, we always talk about my hoarding problem, and I always think if my mom tells you where it stems from. Oh, I would love oh. to hear that. Um, yeah. The part, like the, like the, like really? Yeah. <laughs> like, You're like okay, the nitty gritty. Is it like um, no, mother, so like daughter? We, I came home. Um, I don't know. I was doing something. And I came home, and we had an armoire in this one room. And I walked by, and I was like, "What is behind there?" And I went, and it was really. You want me to tell this story? Yeah, just do it, mom. Okay. Um, and it was stuffed full of garbage. And I'm pulling out this garbage behind, it was like shoved in there. Yeah. I mean, there's like cereal boxes, chicken bones, um, all, I mean, everything, like just garbage. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, well, this is a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, oh, is that in, yeah. your, in her room? No, it was in the, it was in the dining room. So she was just so, showing. So, yeah. <laughs> so she was just shoving stuff back there. And I was like, okay, what's going on? And then um, I was cleaning it and she flipped out. No, what are you doing? And nobody loves it. No one loves the trash. I'm the only one that loves it. And she was freaking out. And she was, you were a baby. I mean, you were like, li she was young. She was and I was like just 16 like, years old. Yeah, she was like 16 years old. And I was like, honey, what are you like doing? Six one. And so, yeah, and she really couldn't. I mean, this is still, she wasn't talking. I mean, so oh, she was oh, just so like, this is where. Yeah, but I mean, I knew, you know, and it, so I was just like, oh, so I, you know, yeah. took her to the doctor. I mean, what's the mom to do? I'm like, what is wrong with her? Fix it. And um, so doc, the doctor, she's like, well, she's just hoarding. And she has a, such a soft heart yeah. that she thinks Aww. that she's the only one that loves it. Aww. Like, so, Because everybody know, throws it out. Everyone, it's just trash. And they like, should why recycle yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I'm just a recycler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you at birth, right? See, it's and, like um, the universe. So the doctor told me, she goes, get a box. And let her, you know, don't tell her not to do it because it's her heart, you know, and she's, she's just very soft. Yeah. And so, um, so I'd get this box and she'd put all the trash in, I mean, chicken, everything, like surreal, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. And then she's like, and then just keep the stuff on top and then throw the stuff on the bottom away. <laughs> so she doesn't. She's playing me. Yeah. So I would just keep, you know, some stuff in there and then throw the stuff on the yeah. bottom. And so this went on for so, it was crazy. That's and a lot of work. Yeah, but you. she's still, I mean, I, I don't think she's as bad, but I mean, she had over 
300 or more Victoria's Secret bags. Remember and I told you guys this? Yes. Yes. I just yeah. sold them. I was oh, like, really? Yeah. And she says she still has them. I still have them. In, in my storage. storage. Yeah, in storage. And then the perfume bottles. She has every single perfume bottle that she has ever had in her entire life. Yeah. Like every single, every yeah. single one. Huh. Every single one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to <laughs> keep moving out of houses because I like overfill it because I can't get rid of stuff. Like it, to me, there's always a sentimental meaning. Like a lot of people are like, oh, Get rid of that outfit because yeah. you already wore it. I'm like, no, but I wore it that day, and there's so many memories in that day. And yeah, <laughs> I just don't want to lose them. I don't want to lose yeah. it. Like those chicken bones. Chicken bones. Yeah, I'm a little it, better about that. But. <laughs> it it was it was. Yeah. That is hilarious. My kids, they are so. Every one of them is so different, and yeah. they have their such different personalities. And which but, one's your favorite? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, my mom, I know I'm your favorite. Like I don't even need to. Uh, I'm your Rory, mom. No, they are my favorite. All my of them. My favorite for, dog is Rory. So. For different reasons. No, my mom. Like, so I was like snooping. I was. Snooping. <laughs> Who's your favorite? <laughs> I was. Your snoop- mom. I was snooping around in her bedside table one day, and she had this little book, right? And I was reading it, and she already had my sister, my big sister. She already had my two siblings, right? The whole book is about me and talking about me and how amazing I am. Literally, Summer is going to be an actress one day. Summer is so funny. She always wants to put on a show. Summer is making me laugh. So literally, I wish I could. I, I think that about you still Summer. have this book. I, I, and then it was like one page. The Sibley, the Skyland and Bronson smiled today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't make they this up. Babies. I want this book. I'm going to go through her stuff and find this book. Yeah. They, they were okay. They were babies, so uh-huh. they were just like mm. Not the, yeah. yeah then, but what about Savannah? You, she was like you, six. <laughs> was and Savannah's my little sunshine. I feel like the and, oldest always like helps. With well, that. I felt really bad because um, middle kids mm-hmm. always get the brunt of. I mean, they they don't get enough attention. They don't yeah. get you know. Is why she's here. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the middle kids. Have therapy. Yeah, 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 but the no middle kids. I, you know, the firstborn. I mean, Savannah had me all to herself up until yeah. she was six. You yeah. know, and so she was. It was you know me. You know I, I, that song, "Me and You Against the World." That mm-hmm. was Savannah's, and then this one. Just and came it was, in. Just... Yeah, it was she. You are my sunshine. <laughs> my rain. Sun. Yeah, it was. Yeah, just, a lot of people ask if. Yeah. It, my, uh, I was just gonna touch base on this. Yeah. A lot of people ask, like, "Oh, is Ray your fake, like, a fake name? Like, oh, uh, it's my stage, stage name. my stripper name." Yeah. I'm like, "No, my, all my siblings, are, Ray is our middle name. So it's yeah. Skylin Ray, yeah. Savannah Ray, why'd you do Shannon Ray? Way? They're my little rays of sunshine. Cause, and then, and then it was so sad. This is a, another really funny, sad story. So my son is Bronson mm-hmm. Boyd, baby, and um, so when he was around five, maybe six, he came to me, and he's got these ginormous brown beautiful eyes that just he's so he cute. was the cutest baby he was ever the, like oh my god like he, baby ever. curly <laughs> real curly hair i mean he's just he was so cute and he comes to me with these big brown eyes and he's like mom i'm not your ray of sunshine i'm like yes you are why my middle name's not ray oh so <laughs> but i wanted to name him i wanted to name him river ray yeah. I want, that's it another name I want to name one of my kids. Yeah. Name. My dad was like, but you three can't. girls. You're Jul- you're yeah. you, know, you know what she wants to name? Like July, June, and August. 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 I love the name August. Yeah, August yeah. is cool. I just feel August. bad for July. I'm right? Like, I, I don't know many Julys. Like, Maybe it's River. Unique. River. I think River June, is the August. coolest name. Yes. Ray. Yeah. River. Are you going to do Ray as a middle name? River Ray. I think Ray's, a, it's like, not like yeah. the name Ray. Yeah. I mean, it's, no, I mean, Ray's, Ray. Ray? <laughs> I'm going to show this to my mom. <laughs> but just like Ray as, you know, they're my rays of sunshine. Yeah. And that's why, you know, so, I and so, but that. we had to name Bronson a manly man name. So yeah. It's Bronson Boyd. Which is very Manly. Yeah. yeah. And it's fine. I mean, and, yeah. but he was really upset about it and I felt really bad. Well, Summer but, will make up for it. She'll name a River Ray. So yeah, I, I've always gone by Ray. A lot of people have like always think like it's a fake name and stuff. I'm like, I've never my whole life gone by Beatty because I'm not really close with my dad's adopted. I've never felt like it was my last name because mm-hmm. my dad's adopted. I've never gotten along with his side of the family. So if it was like his biological last name, I'd be like, okay, it's my last name. But it's not even his biological last name. So his, Is he close with his family? Like who adopted him? Uh, I don't know. They're kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> Don't watch this. Mm-hmm. What if Dad watched this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. um, no, they're just. We just never been close to them. I yeah. mean, they're just. But is <clears throat> he close with them? Um, 
No, topics. I mean, not, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're I mean, just not, not very not. loving people. Like they yeah. don't. My family, like I have the most. My family is the most loving, open. Like we will literally accept you as our family. Yeah. Like we're just, we just love everyone. We're open and we say what's on our mind, and we're not like closed off people. Mm -hmm. Like we're just. Yeah. You know, we're very open and loving, and they're, like, the exact opposite, so I don't think we've ever, like, understood them. Like, yeah. I don't know. So you're like, I'm good on that name. We're I'm very like, unjudgmental. Like, like we're just, we just accept. Yeah, which is the best. Chill. That's yeah. how everybody should be. Yeah. Yeah. If you treat us everyone. good, we're going to treat you good. And Did you, like, yeah. after having kids, did that kind of change your way of thinking? How, like, how did that impact your life? Um, I don't know. I tell everybody, and I truly feel like this. I yeah. mean, since I mean, I'm still 25 at heart. Yeah. Like I just, I you know, well, matured you and everything so, yeah. <laughs> until I was 25. Yeah. And then I still feel and think the same. Like I feel, you know, like I'm. Mm -hmm. I just I like to have fun. You know, I just I love to be active, and I'm just the same person as I was then. Yeah, Mom always talks and, about you know women have kids and they feel like oh I'm a mom now oh I'm this oh I gotta stop living or it's like no you, your kids are gonna be grown and gone and then yeah. what do you have to offer that's why yeah. women who get yeah. depressed when their kids are off to college because they're like hey, who am I mm -hmm. you know mom is yeah. still who she is and I just bit. felt like my entire life like I never when I had and I had three kids in diapers and mm -hmm. then a, a you know six when then she was eight when I had the twins but I never stayed in bed. I never did not get up and take a shower and fix myself and put my makeup on. And I was still me. Like I never mm -hmm. lost me within having kids. Yeah. Like a subject I want to touch too is because we live in a world where it's like people think like, and maybe it's LA, I don't know if it's everywhere, but when you're 25 or you're 28, 29, 27, it's like, oh, I'm old. I'm almost 30. And it's like, I always tell everyone, my mindset growing up was never 30 was old. Yeah. My mindset, I always, because I would ask mom, I was like, mom, if you could be any age, what age would it be? And she'd say, 33. She'd yeah. always want to be in her 30s. And yeah. I would, so growing up, like, I, I, didn't know, I didn't know all these stereotypes yeah. and yeah. stuff. So I'm like excited. And then I moved to LA and everyone's like, oh, I'm old. I'm like, oh, how old are you? 30. I'm like, what? what? Like, yeah. old? Like, like, I'm excited to be yeah. 30. So, can you, like, speak on that and, like, why? why? Yeah, that's important for girls to hear, too, because people, like, dread it. They dread their birthdays, like. Well, I think every, every age, you have to embrace every age, but um, I think just in, personally, in my 30s, I was just, I was, and I'm still healthy, but I was mm -hmm. just, I just was vibrant, healthy, I mean, great things were happening and it was just it was just a good age and mm -hmm. I and think you you're, tell me your body was the best it's ever been yeah because when you're everything is the way it's supposed to be mm -hmm. and you know and and wise like you like were yeah. like confident in yourself you know because it's like maybe yeah. in your 20s and stuff you're yeah. you're still your learning about yourself and you're still too. but when you're in your 30s you're just you think yeah I mean you've learned so much and you you know your 20s are behind you and you just feel confident and mm -hmm. it's really it's nice. Yeah. And that's what I hear too. They're like, 30s are the best. Love well, now I think 50s are the best. See, this is great. <laughs> like, Mom's like, 50s you... are the best, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I why mean, are I just, 50s the best? I just feel, um, I just, I lived a great life and, Living. um, and I feel good. And I mean, I've been through surgeries and I've been through, you know, a bunch of, my mom um, is like what five months post ba major major back surgery. Oh really? Yeah. So I have. I mean, I have screws everywhere, and yeah, I have some screws loose in my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but my whole mom's but, whole back, her whole neck. Well, is I some. yeah, I have metal all in my neck, oh. and so I'm a robot, and I have metal in my so back, I'm a robot. and metal in my <laughs> airports ankle. must be fun. <laughs> Actually, they they don't bug me any. It's really? so weird. Well, because I, I think when they do the scan, they can see where my metal uh, is and stuff. But they're like, all right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. mom, it's and like it's like for people. For mom, she's just like my biggest inspiration. It's just so amazing because so many people have so. Oh, I had kids, or I'm old, or I'm fifty. I'm not working out. I'm not living my life. I'm. No, I, she literally is metal. Fifty four has had a million kids. She literally <laughs> nothing stops this woman. Yeah. She's like literally Wonder but Woman the, or the, something. Well, I did my it, first competition three months after my neck surgery, my first really? neck surgery, and then I did the second competition 
three months after my second neck surgery, wow. and my doctors were just like, you can't, you can't. I'm you gotta like, chill. Yeah, she was and I'm like, just like, like yeah, so no. in the beginning, yeah. like they were like, no, you can't do it, because we started competing together, yeah. and they were like, no, you can't do it, you can't do it, and it's, she's like, no, I'll do it. And so she kept like I was like prepping and working out with me. I'm like, mom, you can't. The doctor said she's like, no, I'm still doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then it's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Then you like let up a little bit because you're like, all right, that like I get it. <laughs> no. Is this, no. You still you still go for the competition? Oh, yeah. She did oh, the no. competition. Yeah. I do. I don't comp compete anymore just because yeah. it's not. I mean, in it's summer not. and I don't have to prep. I mean, we prep for like what three, maybe six weeks, if yeah, that. When I, mean, I yeah. used to do it when we I was don't. younger, I would get so skinny. Me and my mom have a really fast metabolism. It's like, we diet, we get sick. Yeah. Like, so we don't really have to diet or anything, which is, you know, yeah, fun great for us. But it's, but the, I, it wasn't fun for me. Like, mm -hmm. summer is a natural. Like, she can get on that stage and she shines. And yeah. she, but back when I was doing it, um, my lower back was so messed up. And mm -hmm. so the posing would mm. screw with me. I mean, it hurts so it's bad. And of, people think, oh, yeah. pose, you know, but in bikini, I mean, you have to, you know, you're bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah. have to just, any, it's just, and so after posing for any amount of time, I'd be yeah. like, oh my God, I can't walk. It hurts. Yeah. And that would make me feel old. So it's like, why put yourself in positions? Like, that's I don't like I'm, my back hurting. Yeah, that's what I'm and, saying though. But it's now like, yeah. after this surgery, I'm like, I, I can actually lay down on a massage table yeah. and it doesn't hurt. Oh. And I can sleep, and I'm not in pain. It's the most amazing. Like, if anyone's older and needs back surgery, flipping do it. Yeah. And yeah, because, I mean, it's my yeah. back is 100%. What was wrong with your back? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you guys won't know this term, but I had a grade three and a half spondylolisthesis. Okay. She did. And so it's when your spine is like... slipping off of itself. Mm. So they ha and I gained an inch. So now I'm an inch taller. I know. She, <laughs> I was always like, I tell everyone, I, I am actually five, six and a half. <laughs> no, she did get Although taller. I was like, as she came, I was like, what shoes are you wearing? She's like, no, I am an inch taller. <laughs> yeah. I love it though, because yeah. your your perspective on things are so positive. And like, you know, as you should be with anything, because one, you learn from things too. It's like, yeah, you get an inch taller. Right. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so many it's like, but most people, yeah. they get old and they start shrinking. Not me. Yeah, like, it's I'm, always positive I'm, I'm energy. Well. And I think that and my mom is like very, like never stresses. Like, I don't know why like I'm like uptight and always too. stressed. My mom doesn't matter what it is. It's just, it's all good. Well, stretch, stress <laughs> ages. It yeah. like, you know, I, I feel like if you're always stressed out, you're more likely to get sick. You're more likely yeah. to get, so it's just a. Uh, it's a thing. You gotta do that meditation no, that we no. hear about. And all vitamin time. C. You gotta take vitamin C. Mom yeah. loves vitamin C. <laughs> vitamin C. It's worth it. Yeah. So that that would that's like your your secret uh, method is a, like your youthfulness is vitamin C. Oh, I drink so much vitamin C. But you know, vitamin Aren't C you? isn't no. Vi well, I drink emergency, but just oh, vitamin C. Emergency I mean, it's a it's a sponsor. No, yeah. It's a it's a antioxidant, and yeah. it is. Um, you know, people put it on their topical yeah, for wrinkles and everything like that. I don't do that because I'm not structured enough. I'm very fly by the seat of my pants. I don't, I'm not good with structure. <laughs> Thanks fact, for homeschooling us, Mom. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I'm bad at taking vitamins and yeah. until somebody. Her boyfriend me. is really. I'm better yeah, at this. Really helping vitamins. him, her now. Yeah, I'm really he helps me. He got. Because like, I'm not around. Someone <laughs> well, needs to help her because she is her. literally. You know when I was telling you guys too. the other day that I'm her mom? Yeah. Mama, I'm your mom. I know. Thank you. <laughs> well, <laughs> Roles reverse. That, that's the question, too. I mean, that's how life works, by the way. It's like your parents raise you, and then afterwards you help out your parents. That's they change like, your diapers, you change theirs. Yeah. Okay, I'm never like, going to be in diapers, and when I do, she's like, me. you listen. <laughs> I'm not going to be in diapers. <laughs> but how did diapers. you, like, how did you find your boyfriend? Um. Well, we actually met at the gym, but we've only, you know, we've been, it's, it's a new, it's a newer relationship and yeah. but he's amazing. Yeah. Like he is actually the neatest man I've ever met in my Aww. entire life. I love that. And I'm so happy for my But doing so like-minded things too. You met at yeah, a place Yeah, it's really where... nice to have someone that's also into fitness and, yeah. and, you know, he doesn't look his age at all and so, he's just adorable. Yeah, you both look great. Yeah. Um, he's the first older man, even though he's younger than me, but he's the first older man that I've Mom's usually a yeah. cougar. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I I love it. Like yeah. I I am so happy right now. Oh good. And I'm so happy yeah. for her. She 
She deserves it. So if all of you guys are, if anybody's looking for a significant other, just go somewhere where your interests are and then you can find somebody with the same. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it could work. That could work. <laughs> but also yeah. don't go to the gym hitting on everybody because no. nobody likes that either. No, <laughs> and, no. And, it was, no it was, and it was not even like that. Yeah. Like he never like, hit on me. No. He's very, what was the method though? Very, yeah, just friends. I yeah. mean, we were just, yeah, we started out just, Friends. So get in the friend zone. No, sorry. <laughs> is so I guess I was there, but I don't really remember. No, but he comes up to her and just says that she's he, she, what you're the most beautiful woman ever. He's yeah. like he's like you and your friend were fine. Will you be but my friend? You. You're the most beautiful woman ever. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah, no, he wanted to be friends, and I told him that I couldn't be friends with him because I thought he was too handsome. Aw, so it was immediate she's like, just like interest. <laughs> she's like, yeah. No, I love that. So you got butterflies and oh god, every time I see them, I get butterflies. That's great. Still, yeah, and then go on dates and all that fun stuff, and then yeah. So I, I love it. Super, They're super fun. Have some fun times. We're going to have a good weekend. I'm happy that mom's here to hang me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's read this last question really quickly, and then just get a little bit of advice so people don't miss out. It's a long question though. Yeah. Oh, honey. I've got oh. like a million questions, oh God. but it feels like they're all probably the same. Oh, good. Basically, I'm a boy who's been single for a long time, and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, if I'm doing anything wrong. I feel like my mindset constantly swings between, man, I wish I wasn't single, and trying to find Miss Perfect on a dating app, or like imagine, imagining how perfect my life would be with a celebrity to swing towards, yeah, I'm pretty content with being alone forever and trying to work on cars and motorcycle, motorcycles and basically be some guy that's too cool for anyone. I'm not sure what causes that swing, but I'm pretty sure it's a lack of confidence thing. Like I lack the confidence to go for a girl and then I get super self-conscious and maybe try to strap on an ego of extreme confidence to overcompensate for it. I guess my question is, how do I find out what my issue is? And if it is self-confidence or I figure out what it is, how do I work to resolve it? I'm willing to admit that even if a celebrity was interested in me and gave me a chance, cough, cough, summer, cough, there isn't much of a chance of there being happily ever after because I fell in love with all the media I took in and not the person for who they are. Or at the very least, there's the same amount of chance of things working out as if there would be with any other random person. I've gotten good at realizing those things by increasing my self-awareness but I feel stuck and don't know what the next step is after making a realization such as celebrities may not be a perfect match for you even if they gave you a shot. I still feel like there's a part of me clinging to a wish. Maybe you need to let that go. <laughs> or should I hold on to that and try to get myself to a position where I potentially ask out the celebrity figure if things click? You already said summer, <laughs> so I'm like, I see a good case for trying to be realistic, but I also see a good case for chasing a dream because YOLO, any words in general that would be helpful? Sincerely, the boy with swishy hair. He even gave like a characteristic of himself at the end, like swishy, swishy hair. I got the good you hair. You like the hairlines. That is so funny because, you know, it was like, there's also a stereotype of like, if you're a celebrity or girls who are like, they need to date, because everyone dates other celebrities, it's me. I would, like, I always see that, like, guys are, like, on Twitter, they're like, when I have money, Summer, I'm coming for you. When I have, when I have, um, when I have fame, I'm coming for you. It's right. like, me and my mom, I, I think it's how I was raised. My mom always told me my whole life, if you're, don't ever be with someone, you wouldn't want to be in a cardboard box with. Because yeah. when I was li little, I'd make jokes, like, oh, I'm going to marry someone with money. My mom would be like, Summer, you never marry someone that you, because that can go away. Everything can yeah. go away. You have to marry someone that you would want to live in yeah, a you cardboard want to be box with. Too. And that really sank in. Like that really, because I had a young age and my whole goal is like, I never want to be taken care of. I never want someone to take care of me. I want to take care of myself and I want to be with someone I love. Mm -hmm. So when guys are always talking about like, oh, I want to be with, like, I'll be with you when I have money, it's like, no, I. You don't have to have like you be a good person. If you know, it's, and you have a way better chance than having yeah. I don't money. care. Actually, that's a turnoff for me. Is like a celebrity or you know, it's yeah. just like that's not what I want. I Entitled, like normal people. Want, like yeah. yeah, I want someone who doesn't not ignorant, like arrogant, and has an ego and thinks that they're this and that. It's like yeah. I just want yeah. a normal person. That's what I'm attracted to. Yeah. So so would you tell him to keep keep chasing his dream? 
Um, you take, of you. Of you. <laughs> I'm like, what he wants to know. He's like, Summer, are we in or are we out? Summer, are we in or are we out? <laughs> well, um, then it's like, yeah. Her mm-hmm. boyfriend's over there, like, what's his name? Oh, yeah, sushi hair? What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> sushi hair? Oh, my God. How good yeah. is his hair? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so okay. Can see my babe, swishy hair over here. <laughs> He's like, I have the swishy hair, too. Yeah. That is so funny. I cough, would, cough. I would say have your stands or standards, but don't be with somebody because they're a celebrity. Yeah, like, how, you don't yeah. even know if you like me. You don't even know. You don't even know if we would. But kick she it is off. really amazing. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> He's like <laughs> just falling in love more. <laughs> um, yeah, like you can always have your crush and don't limit like your exposure to other people through somebody you've never met before. Like, definitely meet the people around you. Like, get to know people. Get to know what you want and what you don't want. And you'll find things in the other people around you that either Summer has or Summer doesn't have, too. It's like, you know, maybe you're alert. I don't know. (laughs) It's just like, I I think just, like, give other people a chance. Have your dream girl. You can always have your dream girl. But, like, don't let that be your life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't know I what don't you know. want, you know? It's like, for me, it's like, lo- we always talk about looks and that kind of stuff only goes far. It's like, the connection. You can see someone that you thought you love. Like, yeah. a lot of times, you meet a celebrity that you thought you're you so love, and you're just like, there's no chemistry. There's, yeah. there's, yeah, there's nothing. Be chemistry. There has to be yeah. chemistry. There has yeah. to be, yeah. th- there's different forms of attraction, you know? How do you, do you guys have things in common? Do you, do you guys like to talk? Like, the kiss, I you know? There's certain things I that really it, matter. I guess it's basically just saying, don't close yourself off to other people in a relationship that doesn't exist yet. You know? Yeah. It's like if we were walking down yeah. the street, say I'm single and you come up to me yeah. and you're like and if it happened and we liked each other and we hit it off, maybe. Yeah. But until then you can't be like, Summer, I love you so much, love me. I'm like, Yeah. He's gonna yeah. <laughs> No, but it's just like for me, it's like it there's so organic. many there's so many different levels to it. You know, it's yeah. not not just like but everyone has people that they think is unreachable that that's their crush. Yeah. So you think that's it? But I'm I'm really honored. I like start crying. I'm like thank yeah, you. Like, thank you so much. Thank you all. The swish, the swish, the swish. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Shannon's honored too because she created that. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So thank you. Like, I don't want like, people like, saying your mom's so hot. I'm like thank you. Thank yeah, you. I'm like oh my god. Like thanks. I have her genetics. So. <laughs> You're pretty much calling me hot. Just kidding. And uh, that's right, so thank funny. you guys so much for watching. We'll put all of Shannon's links below. She's an incredible Follow mom. Mom. She is so Check inspiring and incredible, and I love you so Thank much, you. Mom. Thank and you. subscribe to much. our YouTube channel, Oh Honey Podcasts, and then make sure you download all of our podcasts, listen to the car on the way to work, at the gym, wherever you are, and on Spotify, Apple Play, what yes. all that stuff. And make sure you send in your diary entries to diary at ohhoneydiary.com. We love you guys. Love you. Bye. Oh Honey. <laughs> oh honey diary llc makes no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy or sufficiency of the information featured in this podcast the information and recommendations presented in this podcast are general opinions only this podcast should not be considered professional or expert advice reliance on the information provided in this podcast is done at your own discretion oh honey, oh, honey.